Hi, I'm Pastor David with Declaration Church, and in today's world, in our lives, most of the time, we are plugged in. We are connected to other people. We are looking at social media, we're watching TV or watching videos on YouTube, we're streaming shows, we are constantly engaged with something. We are always either around other people at work or at school or on social media electronically, physically. Even though right now in a pandemic, we can't be around people all the time physically in the same space, we are still constantly around other people electronically, whether it be through FaceTime or you know, even walking around outside on speakerphone, doing electronic video calls with Zoom and conferencing and all of these kinds of things, we are never unplugged. We are constantly connected to other people. And the problem with this is when we're constantly connected to other people and we're surrounded by constant messaging from all over the place and all kinds of different sources, we lose the opportunity to really pay attention to what God is saying and listening to him. And I was reading through scripture and I was praying through some things and I, I came across a verse in Luke that really hit home for me and it, it really speaks to this particular thing in our society today. It really speaks to the fact that we're always connected, always bombarded, always surrounded by messages and other people and what's going on in one another's lives. And it's in Luke chapter 5, verse 16. And Jesus really sets for us the example that we need to really strive to follow. And we're going to have to be intentional about this. It's not something we're going to accidentally be able to do. But it is important. Luke 5, verse 16. It says this. But he would withdraw to desolate places and pray. He would withdraw to desolate places and pray. So Jesus is getting famous. He's constantly being surrounded by people. People are looking for him. They're gr just gravitating towards him because he's healing people and he's casting out demons and all of these kinds of just messages are spreading about him all over the place. He's raising people from the dead. He's giving the blind their sight. He's helping deaf people hear. He's driving out demons. He's doing all these amazing things and people are hearing about it and they want to see it and they want to experience it. And so he's constantly being surrounded by people. And so even though there are all these crowds around him and people are seeking him, Jesus makes a point to get away, to withdraw, to pull away, to have some time alone with God because he recognizes how vital that is to our survival, our mental, emotional, spiritual health. So that, if Jesus was doing that, if Jesus was doing that, the fully God, fully man, how important then, how vital is it for us to then do the same? It's not easy, especially in today's world where we constantly have with us at least one electronic device that keeps us connected to everyone. Usually it's a cell phone. Sometimes we have a cell phone and a laptop and a tablet. We have all of these different devices. We have all of these different things connecting us to one another all of the time. And we feel like we have to respond to everything that comes into our world. And yet Jesus himself took time to withdraw. And so today I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to take time to withdraw. Set aside your electronic devices. Put all of that away. Silence everything. Turn it all off. Get away. And take time to withdraw and just sit and love God and experience his love for you. Experience his touch. Listen for his voice and just Sit and be with God. Withdraw and be with God. Hopefully today, that's an encouragement to you, to know that it's okay to put those phones and tablets and your computer, to put all of that away, to set it aside and take some time to be with God. Hopefully you'll take that and you'll use that and it will blossom into something beautiful in your life. If this has been an encouragement to you, if this is something that you find beneficial and helpful for you, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends, let them know that this kind of content is available so that other people can benefit as well. 
If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that as well. As always, I'm Pastor David, and I'm out.